yourself 100%. Because whether you like it or not, you're stuck with yourself for the rest of your life. So how could you not love yourself? Love everything about yourself. Love your body. Because you're going to be in this body for the rest of your life. So accept and love everything about your body. And about your face. And your hair. You are perfect just the way you are. And I truly mean that. You are absolutely perfect just the way you are. You just have to see that for yourself. You were given this body, so why would you deny it? You are unique. You are different than anybody else. So who is it to say that you need to be a certain way? Stop looking at society expectations for how you should look. Because the only reason why those society expectations and standards are even there in the first place is because people have lost love for themselves on a massive scale. People are constantly looking to change themselves instead of accepting and loving who they are right now and loving the body that they're in. So don't be like society because to be honest, it's a profoundly sick society. Be yourself and love and accept the body that you've been given. Compliment yourself every time you look in the mirror. Smile, smile at yourself because there is nothing wrong with you. You are perfect just the way you are. The only thing wrong with you is the way you think about yourself. So put a smile on your face and start thinking more positively because you are amazing. You are different than anybody else. Be thankful for everything you are. Be thankful for everything you have because being thankful is a great expression of self-love because you're saying that you love everything in your life and you are just fine just the way you are and that's amazing every day when you wake up be thankful for being alive be thankful for being in your body be thankful for everything you have in life and it is a very powerful technique to become a happier person because too much desire is not accepting the life you already have too much desire is a lack of self-love because now you're looking for something to complete you. So in essence, you believe that you are not complete. So watch out for desire. Make sure you are not desiring too much. And instead you are grateful and thankful for the life you already have and everything that you already have. Because that's self-love, baby. Take care of yourself. This is your body, this is your temple. Take care of yourself every day. Eat right, exercise. Do some exercise that you love to do. Take your dog for a walk, go for a swim, go on a hike. Make sure you're getting that body moving because this is your temple, so take care of it. And eat right. You need to ask yourself, do you live to eat? Or do you eat to live? Make sure you know what you're putting into your body. Do some research. Because I can tell you right now, a lot of American food is actually very bad for you. It contains a lot of chemicals and GMOs. And you could do some research on GMOs because a lot of well-developed countries actually ban GMOs. The only reason why the United States still has them, has food with them, is because the same people who supply the food with the GMOs are the ones doing the research studies. And of course, they're greedy fucks and they want to make money. So they don't care. They send that shit right out. So make sure you know what you're putting into your body. Fill your plate with plenty of vegetables and plenty of fruits because those are the building blocks for life. That will give you the energy that you want. Love yourself 100% by treating your body the way it wants to be treated. Eat good food, drink plenty of water, go exercise, it feels amazing and your body will thank you. Love yourself 100%, love yourself every day and you will be the change in this world. Because all racism and criticism comes from 
a lack of self-love. If you have nothing but love for yourself, then you will have nothing but love for everybody else. Because how you talk to people is a direct reflection of how you talk to yourself. So if you talk to yourself in a loving manner, you will talk to everyone else in that loving manner. You will compliment people. And when you do that, you give that right back to yourself. It's a cycle. So make that cycle loving and positive. Smile, guys. This life is beautiful. You're beautiful. I'll catch you guys next time, yeah? Peace. Peace.